You greedy rascal, nothing can be kept from your hands, can it? First, all the riches and spoils of Skyrim, they're not enough, so you go to the Soul Cairn of all places for even more treasure. Still, that's not enough, so now you've, what, traveled to the island of Solstheim for even more goodies. I don't think it'll ever end for you. You know what? Good. I like your perseverance. Let me show you my top five quest rewards in Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC, and hopefully this will get you looking in the right places. Let's get into it. Starting off with number 5, we have the Blackguard's Armor Set. This is a must-have if you plan on being Skyrim's most notorious thief. Oh, but that's not possible. I'm already the Master of the Thieves' Guild. Careful, because this still has you beat. You can get it after the quest, paid in full from Glover Mallory, and he's in Ravenrock. And if you look closely, it's enchantments. They're 5% better than those of the Guildmaster's Armor. So, uh, with the exception of the chest, and that still is going to increase your carrying capacity by 50 points, well, everything else goes up, so your pickpocket success goes up to 40% from 35, lock picking is now 40% easier from 35, and prices are 25% better from 20. Now these little increases can make a big difference when push comes to shiv, but plus it's got a really cool look. The sleeves are cut off, and it's a light gray instead of black. It's, it's new and refreshed. This feels a lot more fitting when you're stalking through the snowy mountains. Number four, we have the Champion's Cudgel. Finally, we have a reason to enjoy Warhammers again. All we needed was a little incinerating in incentive. Incentive is, w is what I was thinking. Well, same thing. You can get this weapon off of General Carius at the end of the quest, March of the Dead. And it's got a 50% chance for each of three elements to do 25 points of damage. And that doesn't mean just for one of the elements, but for all three at the same time. So potentially, you could have a strike that deals fire, frost, and shock damage at the same time. Now, and then maybe the next one, it's just fire, uh, and then just shock and then both Frost and Shock. Each hit, it feels like something new, kind of like a gamble, all while you're harnessing the deadly powers of nature. You're, um, you're like a shaman, really, with the strength to hold such a mighty hammer, but also with the temperament to control the elements. Number three, we have the Deathbrand Armor Set. On the topic of really cool enchantments, this is going to make you feel like every part of your body is special, which I can already support, because damn, damn, you look good. But really, do you ever wonder, are my feet truly working hard for me? Well, when you wear this entire set, you don't have to worry about that at all. All around, this is great effects for the full body. Uh, the chest, it can increase your stamina all the way up to 60. The boots can help your carrying capacity by up to 40. The gauntlets can increase your attacks by 40% when you're dual wielding. And the helm will give you water breathing, as well as 100 armor when you wear this as a full set. You're a one-man army! And plus, it just it looks absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm a sucker for any kind of like icy wintry armor, and this totally fits that bill. Number two, we have Mirax Staff, and this is the perfect example of what a quest reward should be. It looks really cool, you know, it's got that dark, sort of underworld kind of theme, and it has an effect that has never before been seen. At least, I hope you haven't seen this. Tentacles! Pools of them that you can summon on the ground. Very useful in tight locations, like stairways. That way your enemies are forced to run through all this nasty stuff. And when they do, not only are they staggered, sometimes so much that they can't even pass, but they're also poisoned as well. It's a nightmare! A strange nightmare. A strangely satisfying nightmare causing all of that chaos. Huh. A, uh, a strange and satisfying nightmare of chaos that has people running around, screaming, bumping into each other, and slipping all over the place. I love it! And number one, we have the Black Book Epistolary Acumen, and when you complete it and you go to the very end, there are three special powers that are offered to you, and you can only choose one, but what's nice is, like, all of them are really interesting, and so you get to choose what you think you might like the most. So from left to right, we have Dragonborn Force. This makes your unrelenting force do more damage, and it has a chance to disintegrate your enemies. A very welcome addition to a shout we use very often. Um, then we have Dragonborn Flame. If you kill an enemy with your Fire Breath Shout, then a fire worm is going to emerge from their corpse and fight beside you for 60 seconds. Personally, this, this one's actually my favorite. You can have this little creature floating around you very often. And then lastly, we have Dragonborn Frost, and this makes it so that your Frost Breath Shout will also encase your enemies in ice, and it works no matter how charged up the Shout was. Really great way to trap a lot of people all at once. Um, now honestly, all Black Books, they've got good rewards and could have probably taken up this whole list, but... Well, I chose this one because I felt that it had the most, um, interesting selection of powers. 
I, I actually just like all that novelty crap. Let me disintegrate my enemies. Yay! And there you have it, my top five quest rewards in the Dragonborn DLC of Skyrim. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me what do you think is your number one favorite reward from this DLC. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching. Um, you know, I, I personally think the greatest reward from this entire series, uh, it's got to be uh, our, our friendship. I mean, you and I have, we've really grown. Ha yeah, you want gold, don't you? Alright, here's 5,000. Remember me when you conquer all of Skyrim, won't you?